Hey folks, we are at Mount Washburn, Yellowstone's highest peak. And we're gonna climb it. Now, in our trail book for Mount Washburn, it suggests the uh, Cretendon Road, which is just a road that literally is just a three mile slant up the side of the mountain to the top, out in the open for the most part. However, we are taking the route from Dunraven Pass. It too is an old road, but much older than Cretendon Road. Cretendon Road is still used by the rangers to go up to the top. This trail was a road built in 1905. They used to take uh, stagecoaches up it. And in the early day of automobiles, Model T's used to drive this route backwards. They drove it backwards because the forward gear didn't have enough oomph to it to get up here, but in reverse it could make it. So that is the trail we are hiking. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the grizzly sleeps tonight. Away more, away more, away more. It is June 24th. It is not unusual to have snow at the higher elevations in Yellowstone, of course. But this this year is winter has really held on. And at nighttime it's been getting down below freezing. Right now I believe it's somewhere hovering around 40 degrees. And uh, we just had a big old snowstorm here in Yellowstone as Catfish and I came in here. Actually dumped a foot of snow in some of the higher elevations. So that's that's what we're seeing. You see him? It's a killer view, isn't it? Yeah. You can actually see Yellowstone Lake out there. I think. I could be wrong. There's a lot of lakes around here. Huh? One cool little factoid here about Mount Washburn, it is the northern part of the ancient Yellowstone caldera. So you could literally say that this rock behind us here is part of an ancient volcano. It's getting a little bit icier. Icy means that it gets more dicey. Something tells me the stagecoaches and Model T's didn't come up at this time of year. So we have now passed four hikers coming back that did not make it to the top. So it gets a little too slippery for their taste. So we're gonna go up and see just how bad it is. We're not far from it, but we don't wanna put our lives in danger either. Well folks, I am making an executive decision here. This snow berm here looks really slippery. And after passing the other hikers who didn't dare do it, and since Catfish and I don't have our crampons, by myself, I would probably do this and finish the hike. We're here really close. And it's like around one more switchback and you're on the top heading towards the tower. But I have catfish to think about. 
And I can't risk his life going up these snow berms. So this is as good as it's going to get today. Well, we didn't quite reach the summit of Mount Washburn, but it was still an amazing hike with some awesome views. And even if we'd had ice crampings, I'm still not sure I would have tried to take catfish across that last snow berm, because it was pretty steep. The was probably goes with me on the top of that ice field if I didn't see the whole lot. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to look at it that way. There's probably a bear up there just waiting to eat us for lunch. All right, till next time.